In today's lecture, we will talk about shifts of aggregate demand and aggregate supply curves. Now, this is a technical topic, so we'll try to understand first what does shift means, and then we'll talk about why shift happens or what are the factors behind the shifts of aggregate demand and aggregate supply curve. So first, let me show you a graph showing a shift of aggregate supply curve. Again, we'll draw an aggregate supply. A right shift of the aggregate supply curve can be shown as follows. So aggregate supply. So aggregate supply SRAS2 shifted right to from SRAS1 to SRAS2. Now question is this, what does it mean? So essentially it means that at the same price level, say P, the GDP increased because of in rightward shift of the supply. So GDP was say Y1, it shifted to Y2. So rightward shift of supply curve means that GDP is increasing at the same price level. On the other hand, if there's a leftward shift, let me show you that. Now there's a left shift. In this case, again at P star, initially output was at Y1, it decreased to Y2. So left shift means a decrease in GDP. So again, right sh shift of SRAS, which is short run aggregate supply, implies increase in GDP, whereas left shift of SRAS implies a decrease in GDP. Now, question arises what causes this shift? So we are going to talk about the reasons in the next slide. So there are three factors that cause a shift of short run aggregate supply. First is productivity growth. Now, if we are becoming more productive over time, that means we can produce more with the same resources, which essentially means that given that prices are fixed, we can produce more. And that's the idea behind efficiency. So we have seen before how productivity is increasing continuously pretty much throughout the history of the United States. And as productivity increases, so we are becoming more efficient, so GDP increases. Great examples of productivity growth, computers, automation, technology, all this makes us more efficient which essentially means that we can produce more with the same resources. Now, productivity growth typically shifts, means a right shift of short run aggregate supply. Right shift of short run aggregate supply. On the other hand, changes in input prices such as oil can cause a shifts as well. 
great example oil shocks of the 1980s now what happened with the oil shocks suddenly oil prices increased now oil is primarily used in the industrial sector if oil prices increases which means the cost of production increases if cost of production increases which means that firms are going to produce less so oil price increase leads to cost of production increase which means profit margin decreases which essentially means that short run aggregate supply decreases or shift left on the other hand if input prices falls just the opposite is going to happen that means if input prices decreases cost of production decreases which means that marginal profit increases which means short run aggregate supply will increase or shift right so increase means shift right and decrease means shift left there's another reason why short run aggregate supply can shift that's the unexpected short shocks to input goods or labor for example large weather events often affect uh, crops or overseas war that requires large number of people to fight instead of war again natural disasters great example when natural disaster happens suddenly your supply lines are cut off right so companies can't buy stuff easily or suddenly people had to move out as a result your short run aggregate supply can shift left which means decrease in gdp so always remember there are three factors productivity growth shocks to in input prices or unexpected shocks to input goods or labor all can cause short run aggregate supply to shift left or right productivity growth typically causes a increase in gdp so short run aggregate supply shifts right on the other hand rising input prices and unexpected shock to labor and input goods cause a left shift of the short run aggregate supply curve now let me show you the other side of the aggregate supply which is aggregate demand first let's start with the shift of aggregate demand curve so at say price p star your aggregate demand in the economy is y1 now if aggregate demand shifts right which is an increase so let's show it so this is a right shift of the aggregate demand curve which essentially means that at the same price more output is demanded so right shift of the aggregate demand means increase in demand or increase in gdp Similarly, let me show you a left shift. A left shift would be something like this, say AD2, which is a left shift. What happened here? Your GDP moved to Y3, which is a decrease in GDP. So left shift of AD decrease in ad or decrease in y now question is this what's causing this left or right shifts again here are the reasons first changes in consumption changes in investment changes in government purchases and changes in net exports cause left or right shift of aggregate demand and mind you what was aggregate demand is the total expenditure in the economy and who spends money people like you and me through consumption businesses through investment our government is a big spender and foreign sector all this together determines aggregate demand now if any of this changes it will cause a shift of aggregate demand so right shift 
means that increase in consumption, increase in investment, increase in government purchases or increase in net exports. This will cause a right shift of the aggregate demand, which means that at the same prices, more output is demanded, which means GDP should be going up and vice versa if any of these four factors decreases.